Corning microcarriers are designed to simplify your scale-up processes. The microcarriers are sterile, ready to use, and available in closed systems packaging that can be used directly with bioreactors or other vessels. In this video, we'll review the steps for preparing and aseptically transferring the beads. Gently tap the bottle on a solid surface to dislodge the microcarriers from the bottle cap. Aseptically remove the microcarrier cap and insert the dip tube from the Corning aseptic transfer cap. Hold the microcarrier bottle at a 45 degree angle to prevent the dip tube from damaging the microcarriers. After the tube is inserted, tighten the transfer cap and place the bottle near the final production vessel. There are three methods for generating a slurry. You can connect the inlet tube on the aseptic cap to a peristaltic pump and transfer liquid into the microcarrier bottle. Or, you can gently pour liquid down the side of the microcarrier bottle. Alternatively, you can also use a bottle top filter, if the storage bottle can be fitted with one. After adding the liquid, close the clamps and gently swirl the bottle to thoroughly wet the beads and make the slurry. Connect the transfer cap to the receiving vessel. Open the clamps on the transfer cap and the receiving vessel. If you are using a peristaltic pump, connect the pump tubing to the tubing on the transfer cap. If you are using a positive pressure pump, connect the pump tubing to the transfer cap vent filter. Turn on the pump to transfer the slurry. Keep shaking the beads and the vessel every 30 seconds to keep the beads homogeneously mixed during transfer. Close the clamps after the appropriate volume has been transferred. If you would like to rinse the microcarrier bottle, repeat the previous steps to transfer the wash. After transfer is complete, disconnect the transfer cap from the receiving vessel. Recap the connectors to maintain sterility. The microcarrier transfer is now complete. Completely empty all liquid from the tubing and unscrew the transfer cap from the microcarrier bottle. If only a portion of the slurry is being transferred, replace the transfer cap with a flat storage cap. The unused slurry can be stored at 4 degrees centigrade for use at a later time. For details on this procedure, please contact your Corning Bioprocess Specialist or visit our website.